Well, no James Neal at uh, Penguins practice. Uh, you see Jokinen skated, and Sidney Crosby was getting some work on the number one power play and working with Pascal Dupuis and Chris Kunitz. I don't know what that means, Mr. Fedko. But, well, it uh, means that they're in trouble if Neal doesn't come back and then Crosby's still out. I mean, that's a huge loss last night. Yeah. And I know that they wouldn't update it after the game, and uh, apparently there's no update yet today on, on his status, but you can't keep losing offense until it's going to hurt you now. Yeah. I think they can beat the Islanders, although I would caution everybody to, you know, you've seen this a million times, Joey McTubbin, Sports Forever, both of us. I don't care if they'd have blown them out 12 nothing. They could lose tomorrow 2-1 to one in overtime. That's what I said. You've got to be really careful. A little while ago. It's, yeah. it's, you got to look at every game in a vacuum. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they swept the Islanders either, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if they lost last night 2-1. to one, I mean, know? yeah, you just got to be really careful because all the Islanders have to do is win one game here. Right. And the Islanders this year have shown a penchant of having a lot of character. Mm-hmm. So I don't think they're going to fold up tent and just go away. Um, I, I, I'm not saying that I'm, there's, uh, I'm, I'm overly concerned but not everything went well last night. I mean, I was looking, I read all the coverage like everybody else has about how great it was last night, and, you know, Flurry pitched a shutout, and, you know, that's great, and uh, Tavares never got a shot off. But the, one of the headlines to me is that James Neal left that game, and, I, and the thing you know about Hawk, and he left it, and it looks maybe semi-serious. You, you don't get updates like you do in the NFL. For all we know, this guy's out for the playoffs. Yeah, we don't know. Um, so, and I, I wouldn't be too concerned if, if I knew Crosby was coming back. And I, I'm just hoping this doesn't come into an incident where Crosby skates in the morning and then he doesn't play and then we just keep on here and he's going to play and he doesn't. So um, there's still a lot of concerns for me, um, especially James Neal. He, 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 we're only one game into the playoffs and we've already lost a key player. So, you know, the playoffs is a game of attrition. And I'm looking past the Islanders. I'm assuming the Penguins are going to beat the Islanders no matter what happens, no matter who goes down. But it is not going to be easy beating Washington. It is flat out not going to be easy. They have to be full strength to beat Washington. Um, and that, 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 I, I'm just, I, it, this, you know, John, I'm looking at Stanley Cup win, or this has a, been a disappointing season, and certainly Stanley Cup final, or it's a disaster. I think they have to make the finals. Uh, with what the talent they've made, they have the trade deadline moves made by the Shiro. Um, I think that's a must. So that puts that Washington series to be really well, critical. It isn't, it isn't a Washington series yet. It isn't one yet, but I mean, you, you can't be losing James Neal. No. And though that's the thing about hockey is, again, we don't know how serious this no. is. So he, it may be back for all I know. He's not going to be back tomorrow. That's, you guarantee that. But maybe he's back for the weekend. Maybe he's back for Sunday's game on NBC. Well, um, you uh, you normally here on Mondays. Yeah, I'm here Thursdays. I was in Kentucky. Yeah, in baseball? No, no, no. My Vincentian Academy job. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say, we had a lot of stuff we could have talked about on Monday. Steelers draft, Penguins in the playoffs, Pirates. So pretty first good. place. They were yeah. first place Monday. Yeah. They were so, they're half, game, half game out now, I think. So here we are. Um, Let's uh, let's let's just go back. Pretend it's Monday for a second, because we we beat the we beat the Steelers draft pretty much to death here for a day or two, as you would imagine. Sure. What did you uh, were you surprised by anything in the draft? I I I, I predicted um, wide receiver in the first round, oh. but but I I think it was a great pick. I think Jarvis Jones is a great pick. I think he's going to come in right away and uh, um, contribute. It's a perfect Steelers pick. They're just absolute you know famous for building their. Defense around great linebackers, so I thought it was a great pick. You know, I think the, the running back, the running backs are a dime a dozen. So this kid doesn't have great speed. <laughs> no, he, he. But um, maybe he's going to be a workhorse. Um, I think they got a half decent receiver. I, they, they certainly addressed all of their needs. They addressed most of them. They addressed most of their their needs, and. Um, I, I thought it was a really good draft. I thought it, I, I thought it was a very good draft. So, um, and we're not, we're not, I guess minicamp starts tomorrow. <laughs> they have a, really, whatever they're called. They're, it's from rookie yeah, minicamp. Yeah. It's a rookie minicamp. You're not going to really be able to tell till you get to the summer, and you and you um, and you uh, can start seeing these guys actually in pads hitting each other. But uh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a really good draft. I thought they did well. Now, um, do you? If you were to rank the I – t- I had the guy on from Bengals.com yesterday. Uh, the Bengals had a great draft. I think they did too. Um, where are the Steelers in the division one, two, three, four right now? In the Tom, draft? In, in, no, just in 
Just in I'd, whose future would you rather have in, in order? One, two, three, four. Next Bengals. year? Future. Short-term future. Who would you rather uh, have? With Ben Roethlisberger, I would say short-term future? Yeah. That's a really tough one, John. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to say it's a three-way tie. Okay. I, it is a three, it's a three-way tie, short-term future, between the Bengals, the Ravens, and the Steelers. I, I think it's going to be a dogfight. Well, see, that is dog fight that's the way I feel, too. And that what that, to me, means is that things have changed drastically because it's now a three-team – Three teams that you th- lump together, whereas the Steelers were always considered a little bit ahead of those, those other two, Boston and Cincinnati, and way ahead of Cincinnati for a while. Now it's almost it's almost impossible to separate the three. Well, this say one's the better Steelers than the other. have way too many holes. And the Bengals are the team that knocked the Steelers out, so it's not like you can't right. include them. Yeah. Uh, if the Steelers didn't have Ben Roethlisberger, I'd, I'd put them tied for third with Cleveland. I mean, yeah. I think the Steelers have many holes that are question marks, many, including who's going to carry the ball in the backfield. Uh, but as, as long as you have Ben Roethlisberger, uh, they, they, they have a chance to win the division and get to the Super Bowl. So, I mean, Ben gives them the, uh, um, that, that variable that they can rebuild and still win. That is the best way to put it. They are rebuilding, but they can still win because they have Ben. Mm-hmm. They can, but they're rebuilding. They're they're looking at nine and seven at the so and so is Baltimore, I think, and so is Cincinnati. Yeah, they're all looking at like nine and seven, ten and six. And, and, and then, you know, you saw what happened to Baltimore. You get hot at the right time, and you can win it all. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think they, uh, the other t- two, those two other teams have caught the Steelers in the division, and those two teams, at least the Bengals, are younger than the Steelers. That's where they have, you know, a short-term future in the next couple of years. You say they have Roethlisberger, but the, the Bengals have – Younger, the Steelers have old people on defense that they haven't proven they've been able to replace. Obviously, they hope this number one draft pick is going to do that. Um, and this next year, I think, or two is big for the Steelers because I think they're going to, the Bengals are going to pass them up for a while. Well, uh, I think this, well, matter, you know, the Steelers are pretty good at like retooling after. I agree with that. Not, and the only reason a couple I, of bad years. The but. only reason I'm not predicting an utter six and ten collapse by the Steelers is because the Steelers have been, and I think mm-hmm. that's worth about five more wins. However, I agree with you. I like the Bengals all the way through the roster better. Yeah. And I think the Bengals draft was tremendous. Um, I love their first round pick, and it was a guy the Steelers were looking at. Yeah. And. Uh, I, I think the I think the Bengals are going to at least split with the Steelers this this upcoming year, but I think Baltimore's had some huge losses in the off season, whether it's through retirement or whether it's through guys who have left, and um, you know the Steelers are fortunate enough to be I think rebuilding at a time when they have a great quarterback, and their division isn't you know loaded with a couple of great teams. 